What's up, Pops? How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. It's that time of the month where we do the booty bin. It's a little bit late this month. I think that there was just some problems with shipping, but it's here now and that's all that matters. So we're delving into Booty Bin's June box. For those of you who are wondering, I will be telling you which one of my childhood stories was a fallacy in my next video, as well as telling you how my Chicago trip was in that same video. So expect it in the next few days. I'm just not going to talk about it in this video, obviously, because this is the Booty Bin video. All right, so let's get this sucker open. By the way, um, it looks like it went through some hard times. Okay, so the paper this time is yellow and green, really festive. And this month's theme is all about making you feel like a kid again, World Bazaar. Oh, and that girl has huge boobs. Uh, so all I could see is boobs. That's a lot of boobs. All right, I'm gonna move on. There's a lot of things in here. What is this? What? What is it? What is this? Oh, wait. It's like a... I don't... I don't understand. I'm honestly terrified to take this apart because I know that I will not be able to put it back together. Okay, we have some snaps. What? These things were so much fun when I was young and I cannot do these in the house. Inappropriate. Oh my God, they're even in that stuff. These are those sound makers. Like back when I was a little girl, um, my parents used to buy these for me on 4th of July and tell me they were like firecrackers um, and these were the kid fireworks. So I'm kind of excited because July 4th is coming up so I might save those and just have like a nostalgic snap throwing experience. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the snap stuff got everywhere in this box. There's like hay or whatever is included in that box everywhere. That's fine though. Okay, okay guys. Warheads right now. By the way, blue raspberry and black cherry are my favorite warhead flavors. You guys are making up for sending me the watermelon ring pop last month. I get it. I'm really happy with these. Yes, those are going in my mouth. All right, so in this bag we have 25, they're coins, but it's money definitely from another world. Okay, another world. Did you hear that? I just need to backtrack. It's money from another world. So Republic Österreich. And then I got Der Niederlanden, which is the Netherlands. And, oh, Deutschland. Okay, so I do have a German, I have a German coin. I wanna say this is Austrian, Republic of Österreich. I think it's Austrian. I'm probably pronouncing it so wrong too because my German's a little rusty, but I think this is Austria. So a Germany coin, an Austri Austrian coin, and Netherlands coin. I like that. I actually collect coins. Like, I collect coins from other countries. So this will be going in my coin collection. I'm really excited. You know what I wish I could do, though? I've always wanted to, like, get the coins. And you know how people, like, drill two little holes and then put them on a necklace or a bracelet? I might actually try to make this little craft thing. But then again, we're not talking about that. I'm not doing that because that would be illegal. Oh, man. I remember these things. Oh, they're covered in this hay stuff. Okay, hold on there covered in the hay. I'm trying to get the hay off. These are those like popping things where you would put them on the counter like that. Let me see if it'll do it on my hand. Oh, yes, it did. Come on. Do you want to know I, what is so funny about this box so far is that this is literally everything that I used to do as a child so far, like except for this, this thing. I still don't know what this is. <laughs> Literally played with snaps when I was younger. Definitely played with these things. I don't even remember what they're called. I think I just called them poppers. I also remember being in fourth grade and we would get points in my fourth grade history class. Um, and the points were kind of like classroom currency. So every time that we would have like a quarter break, like before we went on some type of break, my teacher would take out different prizes and we could buy them with our classroom points. And I remember since it was history, he would always sell coins from other countries. And that's why I have so many of them already. So that makes me excited. Warheads, definitely a candy I had when I was young. And I'm not even done. There's still more in this box. So this is just, oh, a key necklace, you guys. 
Aw, it's a key necklace. I don't remember having one of these as a child, but I definitely like them. Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond is one of the 12 banks in the Federal Reserve System that shred worn out currency and replace it with new paper bills. The Federal Reserve System also provides financial services, conducts monetary policy, blah blah blah. These pieces of genuine currency are equivalent to $80 in Federal Reserve notes. Really? Oh my gosh! That's totally awesome! Now, now the question is, do can I take this to a bank and com get it converted to $80? Because that would be sweet. I'd be so excited. This is really cool. So now I have a micro mug toy. Collect 24, each sold separately. And I think this one is Iron Man because it, it has Iron Man on the front. But let's see. Maybe it's not Iron Man. Oh, that is, that is definitely Iron Man. It's actually Iron Man without a helmet on, so I think it's just Tony Stark, but he's in a costume. What? Yeah, I think this is just a Tony Stark man. So it's a little Tony Stark. Oh my gosh, no! Now we have a temporary tattoo Batman. I'm gonna put this on my butt. It's going on my butt. Oh, okay. These are definitely fart bombs. These are definitely fart bombs. I remember being in elementary school and these things going off all the time in class and everyone would just literally file out the door because it smelled so bad. And there's two of them in here. There's definitely two fart bombs in here. Um, this, I, I'm actually terrified of this because it smells so bad. I can still remember vividly how this smells. This is gonna be interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was everything in the box this month. This box was pretty cool. Like, this was a great idea, a very nostalgic box. I'm kind of digging it. So let's just go through our sheet. Okay, so first we got a skeleton key necklace. It's a cool skeleton key necklace to add a little creepy, unique flair to your style. I'm digging it. Pop snaps, nothing like being a kid again. Throw these around to scare your friends or little brother. Don't throw it, brother. Yeah, because I remember that they, they actually like sting you if they hit you, so I won't be throwing them at people. Fart bombs. <laughs> Who couldn't use a few fart bombs to take to work? I won't take them to work because I don't want to get fired, but I might play a couple pranks on my boyfriend. Warheads. Classic extreme sour candy. So excited to eat these because they're still incredible. Wood puzzle. Bend your mind trying to get this thing back together. Well, you know what? I'm not taking it apart right now because I won't get it back together. I can't do a Rubik's Cube, not really good with other types of puzzles, like, you know, regular puzzles that you like do, like thousand piece puzzles, not really good at them. So that's gonna stay together for right now until I have someone in the room who can actually solve it because I'll just get frustrated if I can't fix it. Rubber poppers, yes, they are called poppers. Remember these things? I feel like I'm 10 again. That's what it says, but I also do feel like I'm 10. Tattoos, everyone needs more tattoos and I wholeheartedly agree. Again, this is going on my butt. Really excited. World coins, random collector coins from around the world. And you know what's not on here? Is this money thing and this Tony Stark doll. Yeah, the money thing and the Tony Stark doll are not listed. So this must have been like an extra thing, which is awesome and I'm really excited about it. Oh, this is so cool. This box was awesome. All right, so I know that I delved into this really fast and didn't let you know about Booty Bin, but for those of you who aren't sure what this is or haven't been following my unboxing videos as of late, I have been unboxing for Booty Bin for the past six months. They are a company, they do a monthly subscription service, and they send you these awesome boxes per month full of different stuff. Every month is different. If you're interested in signing up, I have a link down below. They gave me a coupon code to supply to you guys, and you get $5 off your first bin order, which is pretty sweet. If if you're interested, like I said, check the link in the description bar. And next month, July, I'll have a brand new booty bin unboxing for you. So until then, I will see you in a few days with another video. Peace out, Trouts.